Hey y'all, Billy from Perma Pastures Farm. Okay, this is gonna be a, a little bit of a deviation of the chicken tractor on steroids. And I just wanna say out of the gates that it was inspired by a couple of um, pretty awesome viewers on not only YouTube, but also our Patreon page. And which by the way, folks, if you wanna support us in a big way, go check us out on Patreon. You get additional content, and maybe a explanation or a greater understanding of certain things. We, we try to increase the value over there, but folks, I want to give a shout out right off to uh, Two Old Crows Homestead, we'll put them up there, and also Strand Ventures, we'll put them up there also. Cool thing about both of these channels is, number one, they're just kind of starting out, and I can't begin to tell you how warm it feels to know that we made a, that we had at least some hand in getting them off and running and seeing us do this because it's inspired them to go ahead and do their own versions of it. Which brings us to what we're going to do today. Um, William recently did a consultation for the Two Old Crows Homestead. And Shelly is that lady's name. And she seems like a wonderful, wonderful person, just as William described. And the other gentleman, I don't know as much about him. But it's kind of cool to track their progress all through this. What's really cool is that they didn't do it exactly the way we do. Which is awesome. For the most part. Now remember, if you're coming right out of the gates, folks, it's best to follow the recipe. Remember that example I gave before of you go to Food Network and you look at all these reviews of the recipe and you find out that they deviated from it 90%. Well, typically, if you're having any problems, that's usually where it's going to come from. That maybe you didn't, there's some fundamental keys to this that maybe you want to go back in the beginning. Remember, go back and watch that video to make sure you construct things together and get them together. It's... um but there is room for deviation. Although in the beginning, I do highly suggest that you follow the recipe and try to stick to it as much as you can. But what's cool about this video this week is that we're gonna make a slight deviation from what we've been doing. Now, if, you, if you've been following this at all, you know that each week at this point, we leave behind a yard and a half of finished compost. Okay, let's pretend for a moment that you're in a smaller space. Let's say you don't have the benefit of being able to tractor through a large landscape. Let's say that you have to be more static or the area in which you're working with, you have to make certain compromises. That's what we're gonna talk about today because we've done it before. All right, y'all had to get suited and booted. The backstory is, and we didn't film this part is, we just basically pulled out, I don't even know because I was working on it all day yesterday, but we harvested a bunch of a bunch, a bunch of honey out of here. But anyway, if anybody's interested here before too long, you can find some of that for sale on our website, along with some of the comfrey. If you're looking for that, we got it. All of the website, y'all. Okay, with that aside, um, here's what we're gonna do. So in a lot of cases, you may not have the footprint you need to maybe run this thing out the way we do. We're gonna show you one of the methods we use that let's say you don't have time to you know, for whatever reason, let's say you're experimenting, you wanna see what works, what doesn't. Um, at Strand Venture, I believe that's the name of the um, of their YouTube channel, what he was doing was something where he's using smaller piles and he combined them. Well, if you remember the last time we raised chickens in this system, we did exactly that very thing. We basically combined piles to see what we could do. We're still in the experiment experimentation part of this whole thing. So folks, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let me just describe how that's gonna unfold. This one, the regular cage, it, we're gonna take it, we're gonna take the cage loose at first. We're gonna flip it uphill, okay? This one here, we're gonna flip it uphill. Remember, this thing by and large isn't moving. And then this one and that one, the one that's finished, we're gonna combine them together. There is absolutely no reason you can't do that. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We, and like I said, we've done it before. So the only movement that's really gonna happen in this system is gonna consist, remember this thing's, we could bring that back in if we combine these two piles. All we're gonna do is expand them out a little bit because you know what's next to here? On each side of that road is our emerging orchard, okay? Now where do we want this material? We've already, the piles that were there before are gone, y'all. We've used every bit of that six cubic, probably close to seven cubic yards we've already put out here to dress all these trees. Remember, we're trying to get everything set up for um, other projects. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna expand this part out. They'll have the benefit of the chicken manure. And also when this compost is ready, it goes right on these trees that need them. How cool is that? Okay, with that said, it's time to get to work.
All right, so there we have it. We combined those last piles, which is fine. Took the one that was out of the cage, just tossed everything uphill. We got our chicken tractor over here on the side and we have their, their compost cage right next to it. Folks, we did all this to illustrate a bigger point. That there are options. That if you're working in limited spaces, you definitely have things that can work for you. Think about it, play with it. If you need to, go right back to the basics. Remember, you learn to dribble before you slam. So um, also wanna make sure that any of you that are doing this, that you also recognize that you, to a certain extent, you have to get used to disappointment in some ways. It took a long time for us to be able to develop this thing to the way that we have it. And that's why we break it down into weekly installments to give you a little piece of something else that maybe you didn't know, or maybe you didn't consider. So the net just got wider. It really didn't move at all. I mean, it didn't go further down the hill. It just expanded a little bit wider and that's completely fine. We're finding that there are very few limitations within this system when you just employ your imagination and find out what works best for you. So folks, this is, keep in mind, this is what makes me so excited about this is that this is without a doubt, especially in these times with rising inflation, closet inflation, a bunch of different types of inflation. This is a, I think the most consequential compost and chicken producing system on planet earth. There is no, there is not a better one that I'm aware of. If there were, let me know about it so we can give it a shot, but this works out awesome. And you can tailor make it to do whatever you want. So folks, remember, go out, check them other channels out there, subscribe to them. Also give them your support, give them a hands, you know, this is revolutionary stuff, folks. There ain't a whole lot of people doing this on this planet. So for those that are out there giving it a shot, man, I, I bow to you. I really do. And I thank you also for giving it a shot and providing additional testing because it's still very much in the infancy phase as far as what can be done within the system. So we thank you all for your support. Thank you so much from Permapastures Farm. This is Billy, the Permaculture Pimp Daddy, where pimp stands for permaculture is my passion. Right here's the reasons why, y'all. We'll see you next time.